Okay. Yo, oh, yeah. oh, what's going on, people? Welcome to another video. My name's Nate. My name's Izzy. And we are back with another review video. We are back with another McDonald's breakfast. So we are going to head over to the destination, give you our honest reviews. We'll see you there. So here we are, we have landed at the destination, which is... West Midland Safari Park. West Midland Safari Park. And there is a car drive through safari, which we have just got tickets for, so we are hopefully going to get in the queue for that bad boy. And then there is the park itself. So uh, once again, just like we did in the other video, if you haven't watched it, make sure to go check it out. Cotswold Wildlife Park. Great adventure. We are going to rate it out of 10 for five different sections. So we're going to get in the queue for the safari, and then we'll give you a nice little debrief of the safari. Yeah. Yeah. See you there. is a lot smaller than his body. Fucking camel went up against my car. Is that why there's dirt on your wind mirror? Yes. Oh dear. You decided to dry hump my mirror. <laughs> That is the car drive through safari. What did you think of that? Like, yeah. I really enjoyed that. It was yeah? really nice, yeah. You get real, I mean, I don't think you really get more up close no. to the animals, can you? Then, no? Not at all. Um, there are a few enclosures, like the lions and stuff, where they were quite far away or they were in long grass, but there's not really something you can control. And would you rate it out of 10? The safari part, I'd probably rate it about an 8 or a 9, I reckon. What about you? I'd say about a 7 or 8. Yeah. 7 or 8. My car nearly got lucky with a camel. <laughs> got mounted, <laughs> nearly had a heart attack. So we're going to whack ourselves in a little parking spot and then go and do round two, which is the park itself. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Excited for this? Let's do this. Let's go. Safari Park. Overall, how did you find that, my love? I 
actually really enjoyed that. Yeah? Like yeah, it. it was good. Right, as we did for the first one, let's give it a little bit of rating. The first one being... Pricing. Pricing. Now, what did you think? We kind of did it the wrong way, book it online and in advance. If you book on the day, they charge you almost double. We use Tesco Rewards because you can actually use your club card vouchers for it. But the only problem with that is you can't book online and you have to come on the day and show the kiosk, which means you have to pay on the door prices. So rather than paying £19.50 each online, you end up paying, we paid, it would have been £59 in total for the two of us. Um, but other than that, it was pretty good. When you go in, they've got like half an amusement park and then half safari but the amusement park's not included with your ticket but it's like an extra 15 16 pound pricing i would give it a solid i'd probably say a five just because we kind of got stooped a little bit the next thing is the space now of course this is a big safari and you actually drive around so space is is pretty damn good to be fair yeah i'd rate it a solid eight because obviously you're driving around there's a lot of cars uh, but the animals all look like they have plenty of room even mm. with even with the cars there. And the zoo is quite small to be fair, and there's a lot of like statues. They have a dinosaur land, there's a statue. Uh, they do have a reptile house, which bumps the view up in my opinion, bumps it up. Safari is definitely an eight. Okay, so next is animal welfare. They do look happy, don't get me wrong, but I actually feel like it's not as good for the animals to have the safari drive through as it is for us because like there were some enclosures like the tigers where they're used to being in near quiet and people were like beeping their horns covered in cars and all you could hear was loads of engine noise all the time and they were patrolling up and down weren't they the yeah you could see that they were pacing and they and didn't then they look... put zebras right next to the tiger right? yeah so the tiger spends his whole life watching his dinner a fence looking at his dinner <laughs> With loads of zookeepers, like they were actually like actively looking after the animals. So the actual animals there are fine. I would just say from like a consumer point of view, the safari's great, but from an animal point of view, I would I would say it's not as nice. I think there needs to be a little bit more of a control as to how many cars are in each section at one point. I would actually give that probably a six. The next one is the variety and the visibility of the animals. Now, variety, I've got to say, is pretty, they have pretty much everything, don't they? Yeah. Giraffes, elephants, rhinos, hippos, lions, white tigers, normal tigers. I'd say a, a solid nine, variety. Yeah, nine. Variety, they had a reptile house which bumps up to a nine on itself. Um, and the visibility, visibility I'd say probably a seven. Around the safari, it was pretty good. But the lions on the safari, they're hidden. Uh, the tigers as well were hidden on the safari. And then lastly, we've got the food. I actually was quite underwhelmed with the food. The, the chips were nice, so we had a burger and chips meal, didn't we? Yeah, it was yeah. so it was fifteen pound each for a combo. That was a drink each in a souvenir cup chips and a burger they give you a souvenir refillable cup but to refill it you have to pay two pound to refill it but they do have like little snacks and stuff they have like a donut stand we didn't get any because we were stuffed snacks. but they do have like a lot of little ice cream huts and stuff so for snacks it's good but again they let you bring picnics and things so you can have your own food if you want it i'd probably give the food like a good i'd give it a four or five out of ten four yeah i'd say yeah. four okay so an overall school out of ten what would you rate it probably rate it about a six or a seven. Six or seven. I'd say probably a seven as well. Definitely worth going, especially if you've got young kids. Highly recommend to your families. And that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you very much for staying till the end. If you haven't done so already, please do hit that subscribe button. Dan notifications, don't miss a ting. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a cheeky thumbs up. All the sub all. It's much appreciated. From myself, Nathaniel. And me, Izzy. Thank you very much. And we'll see you soon. We'll see ya.